Welcome to this week's edition of Topsail High TV. I'm Kirk Robertson. And I'm Lucas Coleman. This week we will have a chance for students to dress up on Halloween, deck of students traveling to the state conference, and a big honor for a Topsail football player. But first, some students are putting together a frightening performance at Poplar Grove. Here's Jonathan Sandlin with our top story. Poplar Grove is one of the oldest existing plantations in North Carolina, but for two weeks it's being overrun by zombies, ghosts, and a few other scary surprises. Many Topsail students are helping to turn Poplar Grove into a scary Halloween festival. There is a haunted hayride, fortune tellers, a haunted barn, and other events for the younger kids. It's hard to miss the Topsail students walking around dressed in their scariest costumes and putting on a show. The event wraps up this weekend with the action starting at sundown and continuing until almost midnight. Proceeds from the event will go back towards Topsail High and several other local organizations. For Topsail High TV, I'm Jonathan Sandlin. Thanks, Jonathan. The Halloween fun can continue right here on campus next Monday. HOSA is selling tickets for $2 that will allow students to wear a costume to school. You can buy these tickets from Ms. Wells and proceeds go towards the American Red Cross. That's not the only way to support HOSA. 15% of all the sales at the Fuzzy Peach on October 25th and at the Zaxby's on November 2nd will go back to Topsail's HOSA chapter. Members of the Topsail DECA Club traveled to Raleigh earlier this month for the State Leadership Conference. Six of our students attended the event. They participated in several activities and learned how to correctly run their chapter. The activities helped the students learn how to set goals, work on their language skills, and develop good teamwork. If you're interested in learning more about the DECA Club, check with Ms. France. Students in the child development class at Topsail got a first-hand look at what caring for a baby is really like. They had to create a flower baby, a baby made out of a sack of flour, and treat it like it was a real live child. After decorating them, students had to take their child with them throughout the day at school and care for it as a parent would. Students had to care for the baby and find a babysitter if they had a prior obligation. Two sports highlights from this past week we'd like to focus on. For football, Andrew Potts has been selected to the Shrine Bowl, a collection of all-stars throughout North Carolina. Potts is the first football athlete in school history to be selected to play in this prestigious game. Also, congrats to the girls tennis team as they finished first in the conference with Danielle McGee winning the singles title. Megan Hampton took third while Eva Barlow and Sydney Lawrence took second place in doubles. They're now on to the state playoffs. That wraps up this week's edition of Topsail High TV. But before we go, the tennis team isn't the only Pirate team suiting up in the playoffs. Several of our squads are looking to start a run towards a state championship. So get out and support our fall teams in the final weeks of their season. Have a great week, everyone, and we'll see you right back here next time at Topsail High TV.